Hi, welcome to the Passionate Spinner podcast. My name is Tracy and uh, it's been a while. I know, I know, I know. I also know that I said I wanted to record more often, but to be honest, I was a bit burned out when it comes to recording and videos because I do that a lot, you know? So I just needed a break, but it's Tour de Fleece. Tour de Fleece is around the corner. It is Monday today and Tour de Fleece starts on Saturday. So it's time to talk about Tour de Fleece. I'm excited. I decided to sit on the floor surrounded by the wheels and yeah, I have a few plans. But I mean, my main plan basically is just go with the flow, just do whatever I feel like doing. Um, but I also, you know, want some fixed plans in that mix. So one thing that I will do, I will do a carding and swatching project over on my Patreon um, because I was asked if I could do something like that. So I will. Um, yeah, I'm going to card a larger quantity of fiber, spin it, swatch this you know, do spin swatching and then knit swatching for a very specific project. So that is one thing. The other thing that I have planned, and I will do this every Wednesday, is I will do Tour de Fleece Roulette. That's what I decided to call it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these two books. I will just flip through like this, stop at some point, and whatever I land on, I will do if I have the fiber, because tail spinning, I cannot do, I do not have fiber for that. <laughs> and so the, ba the worst possible um, example that I landed on, but uh, you know, let's just do it again and get here. Okay, we have stacks. I could totally do that. I've done that before, not a big deal. So I will choose one of those two books. The books are Spin Art by Chasey Boggs. And that is a bit of an older book. And the other book is The Spinner's Book of Yarn Design by Sarah Anderson. And this again, I'll open up, just look at the sky, flip through, stop. And what do we have here? Cable variations, spin a cable yarn. And I will do that on that day. So that is my Wednesday plans. And for everything else, like I said, I kind of want to do a just decide on the go but <laughs> um if you've been here for a while you are familiar with the winnie pooh box right so the winnie pooh box is my to be spun soon fiber box and uh, in here is everything from last year's tour de fleece that i either didn't finish or didn't start so um yeah, let's just look. At, let, let's have a look. The first thing I see is a bobbin. <laughs> uh, so this here is from a started spin on the Mickey wheel, which is that one. And this is a combo spin, but in a uh, ply to combine way. So this is one full braid of fiber that I spun into a very thin single. Can you see if I hold it here? No. Here you can see, it is very fine. And this was supposed to be my, I don't want to spin sock yarn anymore. I need something else spin. Didn't work out. So um, <laughs> I just didn't finish that because this was another thin spin. Somehow last year was the year of thin spinning. And yes, I spun this last year. It will get done at some point. Then this here has a bit of fiber left. I used part of that fiber for art yarn. And then I had like double of this left. And the other half is on here. And I'm going to try to show you. Huh. I'm not sure if I can. But whatever is on there is like half in thickness of what this is. I hate spinning thin. If you've been here before, you know that. I prefer spinning a bit thicker. And this is definitely going to be a plied lace weight yarn. So yeah, that's the other thing I could finish. 
And then I have a bunch of labels. Okay. This fiber, I did not intend for last year's um, spinning, but I had it somewhere and it needed a place to live. So I put it in here. So I have this beautiful orange fiber. It's a merino and bamboo blend. I have 300 grams of this. And I have 150 grams, I'm going to guess, of the same thing in green. So these could be, they could be on the list for mood spinning. And these I would just, you know, spin and ply. Nothing fancy. Now, everything else in here. This is for a combo spin. So I have, I'm going to open the other ones up. No, I will not because the other ones are in. You'll see. So this is for a combo spin. I have two braids of this fiber here. It's a very dusty lilac-y purple um, with a bit of brown in it. It is 100% blue faced Lester. But, so two braids of this. But I also have two braids of this. Which is also mixed BFL and Tussa silk. So it's these four. And then I have two in an even darker purple whiny color. And that is Corydale in the True Blood colorway. So these six braids here are intended for a combo spin. And I need to decide if I want to just break them apart like I did for my first video. Or if I want to break them apart and then drum card them like I did in the Beyond the Sliver follow-up video. But this will be a combo spin for a sweater, for sure. I'm gonna pop them back in here. So that's been in this box for a while. Um, what else do I have here? <laughs> I have this one, which is Sunshine Yarns, 100% uh, Superwash Merino. And that is the other half of this. It's not the half, it's different braids, but you know, the colors are so similar that I decided to ply these together. So um, this will be plied, you know, so it will be one larger skein of yarn. I have another skein of sunshine yarns that is a superwash merino, and I want to do this for socks because I just think that this is just the perfect sock yarn. And just so you can like, gauge a bit how long I've had this fiber. This fiber braid is called Forks, like the town from Twilight. Not gonna say anything else about that. And then what do we have here? Felt Studio UK fiber and colorful, probably another sock yarn mix. It is Superwash Merino. So. Ah, I know what that is. So <laughs> this is uh, the other bit of what's on my rose. You cannot really see the rose. It's like, uh, no, 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 do not fall down. Okay, behind here is my rose. And on the rose, I have a sock yarn spin <laughs> for an intended Navajo ply sock yarn. And this is the other half of that fiber. So... Let's just pop that back in and pretend it doesn't exist. Can you see already my my problem? We have thin, thin, extra thin. Why? And then I have two more braids in here. And one of them is this. It's also full of dirt. Great. Okay, let's show the other side. This is the uh, this is one of those braids, and that is another Felt Studio UK Superwash Merino. So, you know, another would be perfect for a sock yarn braid. And then the other one is this one here, more Felt Studio UK, another super fine um, what no Superwash Merino. So basically what I have in here is sock yarn, sock yarn, more sock yarn, and a sweater quantity. And I just don't know 
what will happen if I want to spin any of these or not because like I said I usually prefer spinning a bit thicker and none of these are a bit thicker all of these are like super thin so I'm not sure now you go in here and you all of that was in here I'm not sure if I can fit it back in here We'll see but that's basically it for my plans for now because i just don't know so this this is not fiber that i specifically put aside for this year's tour de fleece okay it's closed um it's not fiber that i you know pulled from my stash for this year's tour de fleece it just happens to be in this box and usually i use this box for my planned fiber things that I wanted to spin in that year but I'm not sure about this year I know that I want to spin I'm super excited about it like I always am I will um, again do a lot of content for Patreon during Tour de Fleece I'm going to do that um, carding swatching project I'm going to do the roulette spinning and what I want to do this year is like little vlogs for each yarn that I spin Last year I did it like I do on Vlogmas where I did a video for every single day and on top of that I did close-ups and tutorials. The year before I did the, basically the same thing but then I got COVID and I didn't do anything after that. <laughs> and the year before was my first year on Patreon with Tour de Fleas and I did a lot of tutorials for that one. So if you are interested in any of that, it's all up on Patreon. You, just, you can sign up, it's uh, three euros, the lowest tier, and you get everything for every tier. It doesn't matter which tier you are in, you will get everything that I post. So it's my plan. I will, of course, do a lot of posting on Instagram and I will create reels and shorts and all of that stuff. But as Tour de Fleece goes, the main event for me is happening on Patreon. I want to do a kickoff live stream on Patreon, but I still need to figure out how to do that. But I have a plan for that already. So yeah, I'm going to be spinning up a storm, hopefully. And I don't know what else to say. I'm just excited for Tour de Fleece. And I hope that after Tour de Fleece, my, um, my love for creating videos will come back and I will be here more often and you will be able to see all the things that I'm doing and creating and making. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you are also very excited for Tour de Fleece. Let me know uh, what you have planned. Maybe you want to do a combo spin and want to share it with me. That would be great. And I am going to say goodbye now. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful tour. And I'd love for you to join the Patreon to see what I'm up to. And yeah. Let's just enjoy Tour de Fleece. Happy spinning. Bye.